welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to do our third part to third part of our color along in Fragile World by Kirby Roseanne's. We're using Starjoy colored pencils and so far we've got this much finished on camera. We did the large butterfly and I showed you how to do a how I was going to do a few of the pink flowers and I did the rest off camera. Um, so today we've got the leaves and stems, the center of the pink flower and the small flowers at the bottom left to do. So I grab a few pencils and zoom you in and we'll get started. Okay, so move these reds out of the way. So, if I remember right from the picture I looked up of these pink flowers, these uh, centers here. Try to get you zoomed in and move this so that you can see good. Hopefully, um. The actual like stem part was pink, the same pink as the flower, and then the little bumpy parts, <laughs> seeds or whatever they are, they were um, in the yellow, like a yellow color. So that's how we're gonna do this. Um, let me sharpen my lightest pink really fast. Sorry for the noise. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so again for the pinks that we used on the flower were cherry pink, jiper pink, and upper rose. So I'm going to take this cherry pink and I'm going to start right under here and fade that out and start where down here where it meets the flower and fade that up and then I'm going to take my diaper pink and go over that and blend and feather that out and lastly our opera rose actually I might I kind of want that a little darker so that that stands out. So maybe we'll just do the, uh, the uh, cherry pink. Okay, and then up here, I'm gonna do a little bit here and these little pieces of stem here with this. now I don't know that we'll get all three of these in here but I'm just gonna take um, okay the yellows we were using we were using were medium yellow light yellow and Naples yellow light so I'm gonna take my darkest yellow which is the medium yellow and I'm just gonna kind of go around each one of these and put some of that on there. Okay. I think we will probably this might be our last part that we do today. Um, we'll do this flower center here and then we'll move on and I'll show you how I'm gonna do these purple flower, 
or well, the flowers at the bottom, which are going to be purple. Um, and uh, then um, we'll do the leaves and the stems. There's not a lot of room here, so I'm just put a little bit of that color. You could actually skip this color here, the light yellow, if you choose to. Just go straight in with the Naples yellow light. Because, again, there's not much room for getting a whole lot of color and different shades in there. And you can take the medium yellow and try to darken that up in some places. Try to give it just a little bit more depth, but... There's our flower center. Okay, and we will now, I'm gonna move the tripod, I apologize. Just wanna make sure that you can see. Okay, so the purples that I've chosen to do these flowers are um, Purple Lake, Lavender and light ink blue. Let's see if I get the glare off of there. There you go. Okay, so I'm just going to let's see. I'm just gonna start with these. I'm not sure how well you'll see that but here we go let's zoom in just a little more there we go so with the purple lake I'm just where these little petals meet the stem just put a little bit of this and fade it not a lot of room on these petals these are pretty small petals but we'll do what we can now it's the lavender. Blend that out a little. And light ink blue. Okay. Trying not to use as much of the darkest color now, because that one was a little darker than I had wanted, but that's okay. This is how <clears throat> this is how I'm gonna do all of these at the bottom of the page. Um, which of course you don't have to do yours this way if you don't want to. Um,
And I think I'm also going to do um, <clears throat> these petals. Let me zoom you back out for a second. These petals that are all, all kind of sprinkled all over the page. I think I'm also going to use these purples for those as well to kind of bring that color up into the page a little more. So let me zoom you back in. We'll do a couple of those and then we'll move on to our next element. This uh, video might actually not be that long today. Um, I'm in a little more. So for these, I think I'm trying to decide if I want to do them the the same way or not. <laughs> I think I'm going to go around with the darker color and make it lighter in the center of the petal. Since these are a little bigger, do them kind of like that. I'll do this one here as well. Okay. Do one more. Since there's not a whole lot left on here to do. do some of our um, stems and leaves. So I'm going to come right up here. Okay, the colors I have picked out for the stems and the leaves are Olive green, CS olive yellow, and cadmium green pale. So we'll start right in here with our olive green. And I'm going to put, start with uh, like medium to heavy pressure right here and fade that out a little. And then come down the side of the stem as well. And then where this leaf is hanging over, we'll put a little more of this color there too. And then for... <clears throat> This little part right here, 
we will take this olive green, put some of it on here, fade that out. And now our <clears throat> CS olive yellow. Go over everything. On that stem, it's kind of small. Try to leave room for her last color. So, which is our cadmium green pill. everything together so and I'm gonna do all the stems in that same way and then our leaves that we have up here I'm going to take this olive green and I'm gonna put some of that down the center and feather it out on both sides a little, just real lightly. And then I'm also going to put some along where this leaf overlaps that leaf, because we would have a little shadow there and a little along in here. And I'm going to go in with my CS Olive Yellow, go over all of that, and extend that out. Just make sure that you leave a feathered edge for your next color to blend into. And lastly, our cadmium green pill. <clears throat> Blend all those colors together. Just like that. And that's how I'm going to do all the leaves for the pink flowers. So now we'll do the stems and the leaves at the bottom of the page for the purple flowers. Sorry for all the movement today. There we go. We'll go ahead and do it on this one here. The stem I'm gonna do similar to the stem I did up there. Darker color at the base. And up here where it meets the leaves and the petals. And then along the edge. Yes, olive yellow. And then, um, then we're going to use the cadmium green pill and go over that. And then these leaves, I am going to, there's not a whole lot of leaves at the bottom for these. It's mainly just in here and over here. So, <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just going to take this uh, olive green, start out where it meets the stem with heavier pressure, and fade that out. Do the same on this side, just to make them look just slightly different than the ones we're going to do at the top of the page. 
and then go over it with CS Olive Yellow. And extend that out. And then lastly, with the cadmium green pill. We'll go over all of this and blend everything together. And if you feel you need to, you can always, um, you can always darken up your darkest color if you feel like it's your shadow isn't deep enough. <clears throat> so yeah, that's how I'm going to do those as well. So I believe that's everything. Um, we'll just finish everything else off camera. Let me zoom you back out. So we've covered every element on the page so far. And um, so we've done the flowers at the bottom, we've done the pink flowers, the butterfly, the flower centers, and the leaves and the stems. So that's where we are. Um, okay, I um, don't know if I've mentioned it before or not, but I am on Insta do have an Instagram account for the channel as well. It's um, DJ's Colorful Escape, just with no symbols or anything in there. Um, so if you followed along with me with this color along, I would love to see your finished images and just tag me on Instagram and um, leave me a comment down below letting me know if you are going to do this um, color along or if you have or anything at all um, and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so please consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one take care stay safe and happy coloring bye